selling out. It's so weird because we we were never the band that stood behind the slogan or the banner of being anti-major label or anything like that either. And I think it's about time that people involved in our musical scene start fighting back some of the dumber rock that's out there. And the sooner that we do that, the more choices people are going to have on television. Kids in middle America, they don't know anything other than what's on TV right now because they're taught that to be, you know, that is their record buying is a remote control. You know, and when I grew up, my hometown dictated what I had to do to find my, my, uh, my entertainment. And that means you have to dig. Whereas like, you know, it's like punk rock people, they know what it's like to actually get their hands dirty in order to find really good music. And every other day mainstream people that just listen to the radio, it's just kind of force fed to them and they go, okay, yes, that's good. They get and, loyal to yeah, genres. Yeah, and that's really boring. And I think you have bands like um, Blonde Redhead, who tour with Red Hot Chili Peppers, Dismemberment Plan, who uh, opened up for Pearl Jam, uh, Murder City Devils, who we're going to tour with, have open, opened up for uh, Pearl Jam as well. And um, it, I think it's time that bands like us get together and start doing that, and that we don't let all the uh, political rules involved in punk rock um, hold us back, because then pretty soon all this, all the dumber rock that's all around right now is just going to reign supreme and uh, we will ne have never had a say and we're just going to kind of go unnoticed which is I guess the point to being underground but it, it's that's it's pointless to me you know I think it's preaching it's a, to the converted yeah if you preach to the converted all your life what change are you doing and punk rock's always been a revolutionary format and I think if you just kind of like if you take into account maybe the way you used to look in high school and if you were ever that person that had blue hair or you know you had a piercing and before that all that stuff was cool and you got made fun of or you got chased down the hallways or you were accused of being gay because of a certain way you looked and a certain kind of music then I think now in the year 2000 it's about time that you prove to everybody that you know you were if not their equal even better than, than they were by choosing to um, you know let your freak flag fly, you know what I mean? Just standing up and saying, this is who we are, you know? And we're not going to put up with what's going on right now anymore because it's a lot of stuff that's on the radio and on TV, it's very homophobic. It's very gender biased, it's you know? Completely sexist. It can, yeah, and, and it's pretty, it's disgusting. And it's disgusting that people eat it up. And it's like, it's just okay. You know, I mean, I don't want to sit here and list band names, but you guys know who you are and I think your time has come. You know, we're not trying to take over. We just want to let everyone know that there is a different way of doing what we do. And, you know, there's a lot of bands that have ethics and certain aesthetic as to what we do. And if people can just open their mind and give it, give it a listen, they'll, um, they'll throw away the other stuff that really has no meaning, has no, it just has no substance, no essence, you know. And that's, we're not trying to say that we are the best thing since sliced bread or anything. We're just trying to provide a new choice for everybody because there isn't a choice right now.